listening to the Fun Box Podcast. I ate a bunch of LSD. Oh, I did a nope. series of videos on rape victims. Dude, being left-handed is the worst thing in the world. With your host, Rob Webb. Can you tell me if it's uh, cut or uncut? For visual sake? I mean, it's uh, very much so uncut. That's how I roll. Nice. <laughs> Ever hear the story about the... Oh, shit, wrong joke. I'm not sure if hormones and... <laughs> I'm not sure if hormones and milk are causing women's breasts and butts to get bigger or if they're causing men to be more objectifying towards women. For instance, I watched Ghost for the first time in a long while, or which I like to call Handsome Stud Haunts a 12-Year-Old Boy. <laughs> How is that a for instance? <laughs> God damn it. Do your fucking thing with the intro. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Episode 72! Yeah, 72 and a third. In the third. Lord Jesus. Holy fuck. Starting Holy at the traditional. Fuck. I don't know if anybody understands. 12.06 starting time. <laughs> Colin, I shouldn't be Saturday this deep in with booze, for one. <laughs> I should. Starting no. an episode yeah. should never be this deep in. And. Well, maybe it'll get heightened on, weird. on boomers. Whatever. Ah. Anyway. Is that a thing with uh, mushrooms? Do they call them boomers anymore? That's uh, baby boomers were born after World War Two. So what are the mushrooms? Uh, is that anything similar to that? No, Boomers. they're just referring to to old people. No, I'm saying at any point. If you call up Marcos, they're going to be like, why what, old people? No, what? I'm talking about <laughs> mu psychedelic mushrooms. They don't sell those at Marcos. No, I, I'm talking about psychedelic mushrooms. All right. <laughs> ha at any point in your life, did anybody refer to psychedelic mushrooms as boomers? No, no, they always I'm... called them periwinkles. You're lying. Something. Who fucking called them boomers? Uh, I don't know. Maybe people in Denmark. <laughs> you never did, though. No. But you're you... an Ohio guy. Yeah, and I don't know much about Denmark. I kind of know where it is on a map. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. All right. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Episode 72. 72. Uh... Uh, I'm really excited. We have Holland Huff here, everybody. Woo, Put back again. Together. Third back time. Again, We've been third at back. this for six back hours. Again. Yeah. We haven't eaten. We haven't slept. We haven't done nothing but this. No. Nope. This is pretty wild. I'm actually, maybe it's a good thing we get like two takes out of the way. Like, this is bullshit, dude. I really don't know what the fuck's going on. Everything messed up. I'll get into it later. There was Next, a you guys heard. In. You guys heard the. Uh, the Let's talk woman about Bigfoot again. Yeah, yeah, and the two Patreon <laughs> exclusive yes. episodes. The woman of the night. Well, that not that sounded what? bad. <laughs> yeah, you can't be uh the woman of the That's night. not how you introduce. No. Um, Jesus. Uh, no, you God. can't be the woman of the night. That's awful. Um of the night. <laughs> the the my lady of the evening. The my better half. <laughs> and that sounds cheesy too. You don't want, I don't want to be like, my better half, you fucking simp, fucking cuck ass, fucking, what are you going to, so uh, I have to be like, um, you should just lean into it. Oh, that's a good idea too. <laughs> um, then I'm out of the mic. No, but yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Colin is one of those urban people. Uh, we, we, uh, he country, has a urban you're a country mouse. Yeah. So you're like an mouse. urban guy. Yeah. I, I shop at urban outfitters <laughs> and only wear Timberlands. Hip to the new trends. <laughs> yep. Down. We do art collectives. <laughs> All right, and like um, uh, but, subways. All right. We have Maggie brothers with us to, off camera for us today. Boop, boop. That's so funny. I'll fucking kill you. In your sleep while you're vulnerable, most yeah. vulnerable. Yep. That's when it really does happen. If you're going to murder somebody. Yeah. 
do yeah. it while they're sleeping. Especially if you care about them. Yeah. If it's You just like, want to take them out. The best way. The best way and fast way. In your way. sleep. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you kind of want you kind of want them to know it was you. Do you? Yeah. Well, it depends on the situation. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Stab them real good while they're sleeping, you and then like make sure they wake up before you really get it. Oh yeah, that's really fucking. Well, yeah. That's yeah. That's grimy. That's you have a very bad bad relationship with that person at some point. <laughs> but other than again, or it's somebody that's yeah, super uh, evil. I mean, it's some weird mani- maniacal shit between the two people where it's like, you have to know I'm killing you. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if I was to commit murder, it would... Would it be face to face? Yeah, it would be a very deeply personal... Or it would be the apocalypse. And if it's the apocalypse, I'm going to hide in a bush and shoot you in the back without well, saying anything. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd steal I'd all see, your shit. That's what I'm saying. I'd see myself doing that. Like, if I do end up killing anybody, it, like a, I won't think that it's a big deal. Apocalypse shows are stupid. And then, you, you, yeah, people like you guys are the ones that go, ever since you started talking about this and that, I don't know. And then it came to a point where Rob's, yeah, went that, in and I knew, I mean, I thought about it. And you know it, And he was never the same after that. And, that one and thing that he said, yeah, you never He was started the same. eating, putting mustard on his baloney sandwiches. <laughs> I mean, he'd always hated mustard. You know, he was like, Fuck mustard. I was like, yeah, that guy. I uh, could have swore that was a yellow stain. Told me he was a big uh, Leonardo DiCaprio fan once, and then the next day he's like, I fucking I hate the Revenant. I fucking hate the Revenant. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio goes, suck my dick. Well, that's when I knew something had snapped yeah. deep inside him. I never expected what would have happened, though. He ate. <laughs> His girlfriend. Just ate With her. mustard. Mustard. And he hated her. <laughs> he fucking, that's how much he hated her. Yeah. He wanted to hate. Eat. He wanted to hate the experience hate of eating eat. her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll be an original one. You're getting the books. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? Yeah, I do. You, you, you know, you only can dream to have somebody that love you that much. Yeah. Uh, who's your favorite Disney princess? Oh, <laughs> uh, Jasmine, hands down. Yeah, Jasmine. Okay, there you go. And I, you, you know that I didn't have to even go through a cat. I have a catalog, and I've made up my mind a long time. <laughs> You've ago. already ranked, <laughs> ranked them all. <laughs> How many times? <laughs> who's the second? Uh, Pocahontas. I'm an ethnic person. I, I think gonna... I just think okay. they have a more freak nature. Esmeralda. To them. Third and fourth place, both forms of Ariel. Third place. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Snow White because she's the OG, and okay. I think she could. Uh, handle... give it some respect for the history. Yeah, just giving respect for the history and Snow White. And then Ariel, because you always wanted to fuck a oh, fish. Oh, yeah. No, Ariel you got to give her two is, places. Ariel's five she's for me. Ariel is legs. The... Ariel, fish. Ariel. It's two different. You gotta rank those. Separate. And then we have Areola, which uh, <laughs> ah, you know that's. Boo. Uh, yeah, boo. There's. There we go. <laughs> and uh, of the Disney princesses, um, who who would you think? <laughs> <laughs> which. Which one do you, if they were, if the Disney princesses were animals, what's the biggest animal you could beat up? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. What's the largest animal you think you could take hand to hand? Like a, like that's a like saying what, that's like saying like, what, do you think what, you could take a deer hand to hand? <laughs> That's like saying, what would a speech be that a Down syndrome kid would make to accept a gold medal at the Special Olympics? Did you just start again? <laughs> For the fourth Dude, time. Dude, things just... <laughs> Welcome back to episode 72. You gotta tell a joke. You gotta tell a joke. <laughs> Alright, another joke. I just messed up. Another joke. Here we go. Uh, cocaine is still one of the most taboo drugs, even though everyone does Ooh. it. 
Even if you don't do it, it's still the most acceptable thing to intentionally sniff in a bathroom stall with a friend. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Are you guys doing drugs in there? No, I'm just sniffing Bob's asshole every now and then. I like to sniff Bob's asshole. Why don't you do cocaine like a normal person? Said the church lady that's about to go back to... Uh, I think potpourri is acceptable, or it was, back in the early 90s when people had potpourri in their bathroom. I think that's gone out of style. I haven't seen a potpourri. I've seen a couple of clients. Yeah? Yeah. It's still but, alive. But so it's a, for older people. Yeah. So I did that at the... What's going on? Well, well, it's the potpourri song. Yeah. Well, I had to restart the... Sorry, I did the whole restart the show bit. The bit went too far. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. I took the bit way too far. God damn it. Yeah. You got to work on bits. Bits yeah. in general. That sounds like a, like a, I mean, I was going to say a cereal and an insurance company all in one. Bits on general. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe open a hybrid. General and bits. Or like a dog food. <laughs> General's bits mm -hmm. from our military dog to yours. Yeah, get your bits and generals Rawr. here. Rar, rar, <laughs> who rar? <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back in the studio. Yeah, um, I'm glad the technical issues have been resolved. But I hope that the Patreon subscribers call in for a fucking toaster oven yeah if anybody can call in right now at 419-515-6909 we're giving away an americana toaster oven 1300 watts 12 inch <laughs> diameter pizzas you'll yeah. you'll you could glue it to the hood of your 57 chevy yeah. and it would that's right there it would be your new horn hood ornament. Yeah. Right there. Um, free call, steak, pizza, not gravy. That's a stovetop thing. The Americana Retro Toaster Oven is a stylish 1,500-watt countertop oven capable of broiling, baking, tasting, tasting meals, tasting. snacks, desserts, not soup. <laughs> Don't. Name it. Don't do not turn it on its side and make a soup in that no. son of a bitch. <laughs> not soup. <laughs> but you can cook a wide variety of tasty meals, snacks, and desserts. Uh is that cheddar biscuits? It's free. Was, if you call into the show, 419-515-6909. It's a free man. There's toaster a oven. there's a new uh, all you gotta do is call in and claim the toaster oven. That's all you gotta do. Gently used. We would prefer you to have a nice conversation with us. There's a new restaurant out by where me where I um, reside, and uh, they all they do is they take Cheddar Bay biscuits, and those are the buns of like breakfast sandwiches. Ooh. That's all they do. I don't remember what they're called. It's called like good sandwiches or something. But it's just Cheddar Bay Biscuit Breakfast Sandwiches. That sounds good. That Excellent. does sound good. Excellent. But you know what oh, also yeah. sounds good? Somebody calling into oh. the fucking show. <laughs> so here's an episode, 72, about a podcast that it has no listeners. trying to give away a toaster. <laughs> we have no listeners. We're, right? it's, it, we're a startup bank, and if you <laughs> get your bank account, You'll get a free toaster. He's lying, to, he's lying to you right now. If you honestly, deposit $100. All you have to do today, is, we'll give you a slip of paper that says you have $100 and he's this like, toaster oven. Don't let him do this to you guys. He is it's lying. It's not free. <laughs> he's lying. He He's like, you know. He's, he's half the, lying. He's the slimy. He's the snake. <laughs> Look, he's selling you magic potion. I'm telling you right now. The only thing magical it, is this toaster oven's ability to get a 12 inch pizza done in 25 to like 30 minutes. In a traditional oven, that could take upwards of only 19. But in this bad boy, it's blue. It is a baby blue. 
<laughs> it looks to why did the fuck it's so terrible how did you order this piece of shit I, yeah, I just ordered it <laughs> I mean uh, you, you expressed your thought that you thought it would be a standalone thing but where like <laughs> it just looked aesthetically pleasing I, I think uh, uh, I, I think the toaster oven is a great free <laughs> thing to have it is this is a great prize you could call in and <laughs> deny the prize like if there was a prize wheel you i could would re-gift it and we'll you hope could it re-gift land it on, on the show where's it at right we're now? just gonna slide it to huh? the second caller where's it at yeah we'll slide it to the where's second you, can we get can you, you get it, it? can huh? you get it out here yeah where'd you put it it's can not... we home shopping now do you have a spinny yeah bit? it's on uh <laughs> it's underneath the record player do you happen to, oh it's a record we put it on the record no. player <laughs> no and let it we do. Oh, we have a lazy Susan. <laughs> so Maggie, uh, uh, get the lazy Susan and the and the toaster oven out here. We're we're gonna still talk. We're gonna do the top ten memes. Yeah, eventually. Eventually. Not and right uh, but this is anything. pretty Not much we're starting either. the episode anyway. We just got the bugs out of the way. The weird like yeah, and we prepped the lazy Susan. That took a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. Built um, it from scratch carved a, a lighthouse in it but i do have whiskey here um it's not shootable <laughs> oh because it's uh it's, it's barrel proof whiskey it's uh jack daniels barrel proof whiskey well, it's I was distilled delicious manhattan but if you'd like to top up my orange rind with the hey can you grab that bottle <laughs> i just uh, uh kitchen sink <laughs> we have the uh i need a girl cooking uh a girl a woman in kitchen <laughs> washing dishes sound sample. Oh, like, I get like it. oh, god damn it, or like, like quiet down in there. I'm washing. I'm washing right now. I'm washing right now. I'm washing my dra drawers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how does a woman in kitchen washing dishes? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, specifically. That would be a specific sound. It'd be like it'd be very silent. Yeah, it's because they they get mad in stoic forms to show their dominance. <laughs> Found it. Oh God damn! Here we go. The, now we can you get the Wait, lazy Susan? Uh, hey babe. You gotta make me do shit. Yeah, or? sorry. Yeah, the lazy Susan, and I uh, take it out of its box and everything. I'll get I'll get the box. You got the box. All right, now the lazy Susan, and you put the lazy Susan That's right here. That's a thumbtack. Danger. You should have cleaned it first. Yeah, I know. It's, I did clean it. Oh, it's pretty nice. No, you did it. Uh, well. Well, I didn't clean it now. Lighting. Hey. Just hitting random buttons. Yeah. yeah. That was a good one. But it, we're not doing any tequila today. But we'll, we will do American whiskey. From the finest America. The first one, yeah. not South or or North, the just America. America comes luck. comes uh, 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 from grain to barrel, and and straight to the bottle. Yeah, it's no like weird Dixie Mason grain line. barrel bottle. There's no in between. There's no tank. There's no pipe. Yeah. It's grain to barrel to, to bottle. bottle. Yeah. It doesn't even go into the back of the fucking harvester that cuts. They t take the grain into their hands. Yeah. And put it in the. They use the barrel to strip the grain from the stalk. So it's grain to barrel. Yeah. It can't even go in somebody's hands. Oh, I see. They use the barrel as a tool to scrape the grains off of their grass. And they leave it in there and then put it in the bottle. They <laughs> tilt the barrel. That's what it says right here. And government warning. Oh, shoot. From grain to barrel and straight to the bottle of barrel proof Jack Daniels single barrel is made for. So which part of they are? Are they using the barrel experience. as a tool to strip grain or are they lying? I don't think it. Do you think they're using some kind of carbine combine harvester and then that grain is sitting in a in a trailer? In the back of a combine? That's not that's not grain to barrel. I 
I think I always assume they're lying to me. I I I I, 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 I assume they're saying. Um, oh, but the thing I do appreciate about America with bourbon is it has to be what it is. Has to. This is the only thing that's a sour mash. Holy shit. It's really happening. I believe I put my trust in Jack Daniels because I I trust it. Oh, it didn't have to win. I don't it's hard for me to trust the government. So <laughs> but but I trust Jack. But I trust Jack. Uh uh listen. I'm Here I'm a go. fool. Hey, I have to be that guy. Who's gonna call in besides you, Holland, <laughs> to call me out? Right? I'm, I'm, I'm a lot of people with this oh, brand yeah. new. Do <laughs> you see what's happening, Holland? <laughs> uh, where's the fucking camera that toaster I can put on oven? It's got talking, yeah. this bit right here on the front that is might is a it's got a, a grease tray. Uh, two-way lever, two-way door that opens and closes, and it has lines on the front. If you call today, uh, it's not even going to cost $69.99. It's not going to cost $59.99. It's <laughs> only $49.99. If you were, if you call first, if you're the second caller, it's going to be the base sixty four ninety nine price. Um, stove cam. Stove cam. I, I got to make a stove cam. That's what's happening right okay, now. Okay, label it. A stove cam to broadcast this damn stove. There it is. Oh, I gotta slow it down if it's on it, because it's gotta be glamorous. That angle sucks. I can't see it. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, just hold it there for the re the rest of the episode. It glitched out on me. Uh oh. Move around too much. If you call in and get three pachinko chips into the middle slot there we go this beautiful 1950s and it's from it's it's not just 50s inspired it's from 1950 this cord is not grounded still <laughs> 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 okay I almost spilled his drink doing that <laughs> This is what you get if you call in right now. 419. They didn't bother putting the blue on the back because it will be up against your, your wall. This is not a standalone item. You would not place this on a pedestal. This is a countertop, 1300 watt, 12 inch diameter. I'm kind of doubting the... <laughs> Do you think you can get a 12-inch pizza in this I thing? I don't know. I don't, Look at that. Really open that and so. think about no. no no, pizza you buy from the grocery store. No, is like a very, in there. very personal pan. Right. <laughs> Regular Tostinos will not fit. Okay, Somebody's calling? Off. Who's calling? Who is it? Caller number two gets a free, uh, free caller two. Congratulations, caller. You're the winner of a toaster oven. That's not true. The second caller Hello. is Hello. The, for the I, oven. Who, who do we have on the line right now? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you? Are you kidding me? You guys seeing what's happening right now? Yeah, you're truly falling apart. Oh, we love her. <laughs> caller number two. He hung up. Gets free toaster. <laughs> I'm calling him back. Don't call him back. <laughs> you fucked that up hard. Right. And you have to live with it. Yeah, I gotta live with it. <laughs> call right now. You saw my fucking headphones. I think you exploded them for they no reason. Exploded. A phone call came in and you panicked. <laughs> the first caller, you fucking panicked. Because I didn't have my headphones on. <laughs> What? Because I was 
Doing other stuff. You were doing a podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to sell ovens. Get your shit together. Dude. You could have. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> All right. Uh, second caller. Um, yeah, second caller now. Uh, well, we can plug this bitch in and 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 start. It's, <laughs> dude, it's real sad. <laughs> it's a sad case of affairs right now. Uh, we lost our first fucking caller. <laughs> first, there we go. Here we go. Here. Caller, you're on the air. Okay. Caller, you're on the air. The caller, you're on the air. It's live. This this 1950s Cadillac toaster. I don't know if you even want to take like. I want to want a pizza. No, this won't really fit a pizza. No, this won't fit a pizza. The if you look at the real dimensions of it, not the Amazon ad, you're not likely to fit anything but a personal pan in here. Ah. I mean, I wouldn't, now that I've really looked at it, I wouldn't take it if I was that caller. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, look, I don't even have any pans that are that small. Like, my kid's easy bake I threw away. Yeah. This, this kind of sucks. This is, the more and more that I lazy Susan it around, the worse of a prize that I think this is. Really? It looks nice when Rob, you spin it. open that fucking door. Imagine going to Giant Eagle today and picking you up a frozen pizza and being like, oh, I'm going to go home to my toaster oven Here we go. and maybe toast that up. Shut the fuck up. All right, caller, you're on the air. You have just won a toaster oven. If you want it, because it won't fit a pizza. Hello? Hello. Who's, who's <laughs> calling? You're the winner of a brand new toaster oven, literally. Just give me your information after the sh when you hang up. Hello? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what's happening. Ah, <laughs> uh, apparently my shit's not set up. <laughs> so, uh, if you call, if you're the fourth caller, <laughs> you can get this toaster oven that's not um, not really worth it. We're, we're, fall we're falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. If if you could call in and and describe to Rob how to route the microphone audio to your phone call <sighs> while simultaneously I streaming. What's going on? I've had this fucking shit up. We even tested it. I'm crying laughing so hard. <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but it's so ridiculous. <laughs> <If> it <laughs> It's been one thing after another with this shit. Oh, Americana collection by uh, Elite by Maxi Matic. The Maxi Matic where Not the Maxi Pads. Small fucking pizzas is the norm. 12 inch pizza. There's no fucking way. Like No. Oh my god. That's man. not big enough for a pizza. Hello, can you you Hello. have to answer the Hello, call. Hello, can you hear us? Hear you. <laughs> All right, we are on the air. Uh, who, caller? Hello. Yeah, caller. <laughs> can you hear me? Can you hear me? Caller, if you if you would just blink twice <laughs> so that we can see that you do, in fact, want this pizza oven, and then continue to blink your are address. Are you karaoke Dude, what the fuck is going on, dude? Well, what is going on is we are very ineffectively giving away a toaster oven where we've set up some kind of weird scam for people to call. <laughs> what the fuck? But is they can't. Going on? They call in, they can't hear us. But this toaster oven is free. Won't fit a pizza of any size. It's too small. Does it come with its own pan? Cause like I don't have a pan this small, but it does have it does have its own small pan. You could get thirteen pizza rolls on that pan. No, oh my God, dude, there it is. Rob has figured it out. 
So the very first caller, not the fifth or the same one what for the, the fourth time. What the fuck? I just time. changed it. This is the weirdest shit. Dude, I have like weird fucking gremlins. Rob has a ghost in his computer. If you're a priest and you want a toaster oven, call in, exercise the computer, and leave with this fabulous baby blue North Carolina Tar Heel, spin your shirt around your head like a helicopter toaster oven. It is amazing. Just call right now, 419-515-600. It's not that amazing. Him saying it's amazing is overselling it. Uh, no, this I'm telling you. not worth the original purchase price. It's amazing that you can price. call and then the fucking number will actually work this fucking time. And my headphones won't stay on my fucking head. Because he broke them in a fit of Rage! toaster oven panic uh toaster oven uh uh jubilation this is a toaster oven celebration oh my god dude it can go up to 480 Nothing degrees can fuck up more for me right now like, i don't I recommend going i mean up yeah to 480 yeah, degrees i don't want to say that not gonna win <laughs> where's where's the mighty Boston's at? Sorry, Holland, I'm not even paying attention to you. Well, bro. you're no. Um, what I was trying to say, Rob, if you would pay attention, please, and yeah. stop being so rude, okay. is that this toaster oven has <laughs> up to twelve screws on the back side of it. There's one screw. Where's two my screws, fucking Google account? Three, this. <laughs> God damn! What's up? What's up? Google How are you? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello. I'm wondering if you are going to bring me a frozen pizza. No, this uh, toaster oven does not fit pizza. This uh, can only, it could fit maybe a grilled cheese sandwich. Come on, Holland. Well, if you enter your address in, in, the, in the chat, we will send two pieces of bread and one craft single to you along with your brand new baby blue north carolina spin your t-shirt around your head like a helicopter toaster oven t-shirt around my head like a helicopter <laughs> yeah what if i do this this was this what toaster oven was out? autographed by pd pablo of <laughs> of north carolina fame pd pablo designed Come and on, autographed this so. one of a kind signature series Maximatic Americana Collection. P.D. Pablo, spin your shirt around your head like a helicopter toaster oven. It does not right. fit a pizza. I think, I think I can raise up. You know what? <laughs> All right. So I think I, that they can make some grilled fucking cheeses. All right. So who's calling right now? Oh, this is that guy that's watching your podcast. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Uh, G yeah. no, it's Joe. Uh, we all, oh! we all know. <laughs> we all know. I thought it was Xander at first. Rob doesn't know because he's been enraged by his technical difficulties, so he can't recognize his friends' voices anymore. Yeah. But you, sir, uh, can open a brand new restaurant with this <laughs> fucking <laughs> toaster oven that for real won't fit That's a pizza in thinking, it. Man. I don't have one of those in my restaurant, man. <laughs> you, can, you can fit 13 pizza rolls in this bad boy. I mean... <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Salute, Joey, yeah. dude, how are you doing, dude? Sorry, I'm doing like a lot of production work right now while I'm on the phone with you. Sorry if I feel absent-minded. Dude, thank you for calling, though. I know you probably don't care about the Americana Collection Elite by Maxi Matic. Uh, stovetop stove? No, 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 no. That's why, that's why I'm calling in. Right. right. Rob, <laughs> nobody would call this fucking show with... <laughs> are you kidding me? He's calling for the Maxi Matic. Right, well, you got it, Joey. I'm going to send it to you guys. Uh, uh, I'll just, like, give it to you at Pizza Galley one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it no, better, I'm, it better show up in bubble wrap, man. No, I'm I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's got be, original, it's original box. It's uh, got its original box. Yeah, it can be a collector's item. You can tape it back closed. 
and put it in your attic and think about it. it. All right. Dude, take listen. It, um, that thing's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love the fact that I hope spin. you're fucking serious. I thought it was great. It just doesn't fit in our kitchen. So we're giving it away. Hollins hates the damn thing. Oh, no, look. I've been lazy Susan in this for like 25 minutes, and I hate it. Each, more and more each time it spins around. It is a real piece of shit. But, <laughs> but uh, maybe it won't catch fire. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, liability. <laughs> oh, man. Well, what are you guys doing? How are you? Uh, oh, we're good. We're good. Hell Just yeah. Fresh out of work. You're probably fresh like... Fresh out of work. Fresh out of work. Saw you were live. Like, <laughs> yep. Fucking a. Hell yeah. Best you, thing to watch tonight. I, okay. feel, I feel like you guys are like... After you call like... Like a radio station for your stuff, and the guy on the other line that's patching everything up for you stays on the line way too long. So hey, uh, what are you guys doing <laughs> oh. tonight? Are you seeing any good movies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So like, uh, you know, a lot of people think I have a really great job and everything, and it's cool. But do you have any opinions on the movie Malignant? <laughs> oh wow! Uh, well, I don't, yeah, I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it's a, a number one HBO Max. Uh, if you subscribe, uh, there's actually a free subscription to HBO is for the next caller. Okay. So if you want to call oh. back in a second, no, no, wait, we're wait good. Minute, wait a minute, no. wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second, hold on a second. <laughs> <This is> a pro- <laughs> uh. Goddamn prize tier got him, got him to click you. Oh, there we go. They're back. All Hello, right. Are you back? Rob ponying up for an HBO Max one month. $9.99. Woo! I oh. just called back. I'm, yeah. the, I'm the third caller. <laughs> third caller. Eight big winner third tonight. Big me, winner tonight. Free HBO Max. Free HBO Max for the month of October. <laughs> Along, and so you'd be able to cook up some pizza rolls and watch the movie, the hit movie Malignant with <laughs> Director bang, James bang. Wan, who did Insidious, <laughs> and it fucking sucks. But there's 11 minutes worth of Matrix-like action that sort of makes it worth it. Uh, or, or you can wait for the uh, for the After Hours uh, movie by M Night Shyamalama Ding Dong, which is <laughs> no. So what's the surprise ending? Is it a happy ending? Turns no, out no. they don't like water. They don't fucking they like don't water. Like water. <laughs> the fucking aliens don't like just water. Just swing. Just swing. <laughs> just. Oh, what is it going to be? They don't like fucking water. Yep. It's what the fucking. Morning dew wasn't a problem. <laughs> What's it going to be, uh, great fucking director, writer? What have you seen his new movie? <laughs> what? Old, where the people get old on the island. Uh, yeah, I'll take it as you did. Explain it. <laughs> I don't know, Joey. Do you know this? Don't ask for I help. Just, just, Explain <laughs> to me the movie <laughs> Old. They're, they're on an island. <laughs> it has Harrison Ford in it. The podcast way behind, but so that's why we kept having issues with the phone. But- Oh no, those that that was Rob. No, that was me. <laughs> yeah, guarantee all the issues with the phone was my fault. <laughs> it's uh, it's midnight and we just got the podcast started because Rob's been drinking again. You know? Well, Windows been updating again. You got damn fucking Windows that keeps. You know what? I do appreciate Windows, but I hate fucking Come on, Apple. You got the button. Can we get cue, cue the Dan Daniel button? What's the video? What do you guys want to see? They want you to press the damn Daniels button. The what? The button. What button? The, the Jack- one on your on your button machine right there in front of you. I Jack called Daniels. in for a fucking microwave. Jack What's going on here? <laughs> I, I, oh, really, yeah. I wouldn't have put up with this for this piece of shit toaster oven. This thing sucks. You're going to hate it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, gonna it's gonna beautiful. I love it. It, it works great. It's I ugly. think it's good. I think it's a good. Uh, it does look great. I'm gonna sell that thing for five hundred and fifty dollars. Right, God good. damn! 
Hell yeah. Let's talk after this about marking up cheap merchandise. Yeah, dude. Dude, if you could do that, <laughs> I'd feel really proud. I I I got. You guys take up the box and shit for it, man. We can factory steal that. Yeah. And we'll be like a real deal. Yep. We'll, we'll slap forge. it not, not for a reason. You gotta you gotta sticker. forge some kind of weird certification ticket with it. No, just forge Petey Pablo's signature on there. North Come Carolina on edition. Come on and raise up. Yeah. Take your shirt off. Spin oh, around shit. your head like a helicopter. Oh shit, guys! There's a little bit of burnt pepperoni in the bottom. We'll get it. It's it hasn't oh, been man, used. No, it came from the store that way. No, 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 this no. isn't a used it's product. Pepperoni, man. This isn't oh. used. No, I'm taking it out right now. Rob, don't degrade the value of the prize. No, it's. I it, mean, lick if, your finger. If, if, if pepperoni are... doesn't really go bad. That's a cured meat. <laughs> <laughs> You know that, right? <laughs> oh, it's not even leaving a. Re I don't even know Just what this like is. Just like your sausages is tonight. It's oh. almost like regular. This is. I like believe plastic. that might be a piece of sausage, Rob. It's like plastic or something. Oh, Either no. which way, eat it for the views. No, 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 anyway, eat it for the views. Anyway, it's a perfectly good. God damn it! You guys can see it. It's great. I would. I would be a, pr a proud owner of this if you have a bigger home than we do. Rob's a liar. You'll agree with me when you get it. I mean, we'll, we'll trade it for your we'll, toaster, a regular toaster. You got a regular toaster? I mean, but you're good. You, you guys got it. You guys got it. You guys win this. I'm glad you're the proud owners of an Americana collection. Um, very pumped. Dude, Pizza Galley. Uh, what, do no, a, do some there. plugs for you guys. Yeah, any new shout outs from the restaurant? <laughs> new. Oh, no. What's the hot item of the month? Oh, dude, the fucking pickle pizza. Pickle pizza. Oh, I saw something about that. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, we we've been sourcing fucking pickles, so so we people, got a pickle pizza. So there's a lot of pickle eaters around here. Right. Well, it's a it's a Cuban. Oh, nice. We got a lot of brown people. Yeah. Nice. I didn't even think the Cubano route. You know what? I just oh, didn't. This... I don't even see those people around. God damn, Rob! You always got to take it there. <laughs> Sorry to Chris Piles. He tried to call in, and all he got was silence when he when it picked up. Well, that's what you get when you spin the wheel of yeah. destiny. prizes. Yeah, you know what? Joey hey. gets it. <laughs> you know what? Joey gets it. Yep, Joey, you got it, bro. You win. You win, dude. Let's, you can sell no. it to Chris Piles for let's, 500 No, let's get a death match. Oh, yeah. No, oh, he doesn't. No, yeah. Joey. Joey supplies the death match. He owns the stove, so anybody can fight to the death for Joey's stove. Hell, he can call the cops right now and say, "Rob stole my stove. It's my property. It's in his garage." No, no, Joey. This is Joey's stove. I'm going to raid. It'd be Joey the quickest it. way to get it to him. It's not a stove. <laughs> Joey's. It's, it's Joey's stove. I'm going to make a song called Joey's Stove. Oh, dude, I love that. And, and, right, and stove cam. Patreon Come exclusive. On. On. Joey Stove. You guys did a veteran move by turning the TV down, didn't you? Well, yeah. Yeah, of Before course. you called. Look at, that <laughs> Look at that beautiful thing. Look at that. We can, we can own that, Molly. Yeah, Not only know. can you, you currently <laughs> do. <laughs> You, oh, as of shit. now, are a proud. Look at, Ro at Rob's face. Oh, yeah. We're going to go into it. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to make some pizza surprise. Hey. No, look, I'm not kidding. I don't know if the scale <laughs> comes through right. You are not fitting a fucking pizza in this thing. <laughs> this... No, no, no. Pizza surprise, man. You know what pizza is? Oh, surprise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Two pieces of bread, yeah, some, yeah. some mozzarella, yeah, pepperoni, a little there. sauce. Do it yeah. school yeah. lunch yeah. style. Right. Some peppers. Yeah. Hey, uh, a. Joey, dude. Uh, love you, bro. Yeah, I mean, you can stay on the line. We're going to be hanging out. If you want to put it on a speakerphone and just hang out with us, you can. Oh, yeah, for sure. I wonder <laughs> if we could get, like, some, like, weird call waiting type shit. Um, you think man, Google I'm sure that anything it? in this world is possible up to and including call waiting. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Know, oh, it seems like a real solution that your 
business can provide you. With. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's just it's my cell phone provider that would do it for me. I love, I love, I love the in Holland's mind. It's so just basic and easy. <laughs> you stupid failure. You fuck. Why you call waiting? <laughs> what? I love I, it. No, it should hey. be. I need that motivation. Get a hold of Chris. Chris, I just want to look at this. What's his microwave. number? Oh, right. Maggie, tell I'm him to at. call back then. I guess, or or read his number out live. Yeah, <laughs> or read his number out live in front of everybody. Everybody. But yeah, Joey, uh, you right. have the debris right. po boy, and we all always, love you for that. Always. Yep. Hey, don't don't try and order it this weekend because we're all out right now. <laughs> but that's good. It that's is good delicious. Market. Hey, man. That's good to know. Hey, man. man other thing. Past three times I've tried to go to Popeye's Chicken, and I was like, let me get a chicken sandwich and, like, some ca- Cajun rice and beans. And they're like, oh, we're not selling chicken sandwiches today. And then I drive hey, away. Popeyes. And I'm like, how, how, how who the, the fuck? What is this business model where you don't sell chicken sandwiches on some days? <laughs> you know what it is? Rob, I just- What's up? I can see you right in the microwave. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. The toaster oven. (laughs) Thank you. I'm going to hop off for a second, man. I'll be right back. I love it. I love it. It's like the guys that stopped, that got unimpressed with the talking goat on that Adam Sandler fucking skit. (laughs) Oh, it's the talking goat. That's awesome. (laughs) They're talking to a fucking talking goat, and eventually they're like, all right, dude. All right, we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to go. Cool. Nice to see you, talking goat. <laughs> that, that was one of the best tapes of my life, brother. Yeah, dude, that shaped the, the, who I am. Best. That shaped who I am. All right, dude, call back, bro. Hey, fucking shit, man. Big winner. Yeah, fucking shit, man. You hit me with the pointy fucking. You better not mention that again, you cocksucker. All right, yeah, the whole football thing. Super inside. Peace out. So, like, what's your favorite type of bird? <laughs> I don't, I, you know, actually, I hate birds. Like even penguins? Yeah. Do you consider penguin a bird? I don't. They're not even worthy to be a bird to me. I, that's how much I hate birds. Uh, but I don't hate penguins. Actually, I love penguins. <laughs> yeah. They're so amazing. They're yeah. so cuddly. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, they, They're probably not cuddly. They're probably well, pretty vicious. No, not really. Because Smell here's like why. No, here's why. They cuddle together. Arctic storms. Cuddle together. They swarm and make a friction vortex, if you will. Oh. Of, of heat. Like bees. Like bees. Yes, they go like bees. When bees kill the wasps. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, what happens is the... The penguins, the it actually gets so hot in the middle when they're swarming together that one of them in the very middle cooks. Cooks, so he leaves. So it, but and it creates, but it creates a natural swarm of heat for everybody to get a dose. Uh, so the ones, you but get, that one you get in the middle cold. is a delicacy because it's perfectly cooked. No, they don't. No, nothing cooks. Its egg cooks to the perfect temperature. Right in the middle, and it's a know. it's a it's a Arctic delicacy. That's what they go down there for. That's they're not studying the ice. This they're trying to get them rare <laughs> egg, them rare <laughs> eggs. <laughs> this rare middle Seems of legit. Arctic middle of the swarm Arctic storm swarm penguin eggs. Penguin eggs. Yep. Yes, they uh they uh. You ever seen the thing with Kurt Russell? That's what it. Was yeah, about. I did. Was it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so was water world yeah it was about getting land no but uh, Peg- penguins Pegs. penguins uh yeah to keep warm it's negative whatever arctic storm happens right they get together and they beat out the storm by swarming together if you had to choose one the Ninja Turtles. They swirl like a hurricane of heat. No, I get it. I get it just like the bees that kill the wasps. They The wasps come in and invade and try to kill their hive, and they can't kill the wasp. So they all gang up around it and start vibrating, 
until the temperature's high enough that the wasp dies. Yeah. It's just like that, but with penguin and their egg, their delicacy eggs. It's where Fabergé eggs came from. You know, the Fabergé eggs, the intricately bejeweled eggs yeah that they collect that are worth lots and lots of money fabergé egg yeah it or originated from the that penguin egg really the, yeah the where they made the thing in know. 1982 right, whatever i want to google now now holland's yeah talking. google google did the perfectly cooked penguin egg from the middle of the swarm are they staring at that the whole time eggs at no. the ass. Okay. No, this is okay. different than what I'm seeing. All right. I was going to say, I was looking at the third. Look at that fucking pizza in that ad, though. No, like... I'm talking about the fucking third <sighs> video or the so third penguin camera. penguin eggs. And then. Rob, don't. Rec... Google. All right. This exact sentence. Did the perfectly cooked egg in the middle of the Arctic penguin storm inspire Fabergé eggs after the thing came out in 1982. Uh, did the perfectly cooked egg in the Arctic storm of penguins. Uh, inspire the fabric. Oh, just spell it how it sounds. And quick answer, yes. Can you look at what's going on there? No, there's no yes. On the right. The yes is uh they did the song Roundabout. Oh God, dude. Right? Around That's what about. I was talking about. Did you <laughs> what? It's too much to do. I swear to God, dude. Sorry. Anyway. Look. It doesn't matter. It's we have the audio. Audio is most important anyway. The video just went wild. Uh, because it... That's got, what I got to really focus on is audio. is main uh, goal. Well, I uh, we sold a, a toaster oven. Well, we gave it away. Sold, gave, you know. Yeah. It's all internet traffic. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what did you do to the video? The video just... Everything's fine. It's not... Everything's fine now. Pornographic. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. Lana Rhodes. Are you familiar with this porn actress? Okay. Uh, I believe so. Is she with the face and has the naked body? Oh, uh, yeah. She does <laughs> naked stuff on camera. Mm, nudie. Nudie. <laughs> Nude. <laughs> Ew. It's hard to fucking do this. This is what I got to learn. Yucky. I got to, like, go along with Holland without reacting. <laughs> Because that makes it funnier for the people. Keep it going. Keep yeah, it moving. Just, just keep it moving. It's I can't. It's so hard. That's what she said. <laughs> she didn't because you. He comes. He's coming at me at a whole different angle. That's what he said. She said. <laughs> then, then what I'm. Yeah. Then like I have to roll. Improv is the hardest shit. I swear to God, dude. For me, I I don't understand it. I have to write shit out. You just got to pretend you're a, mas a master splinter and <laughs> Holland, you're the improv. He's audience like, is he's your like, turtle. He's like a uh, motherfucker. What's his name? William Montgomery. Oh, I've always considered myself a William Montgomery type. <laughs> a, because I know who it is and that I like it and compare myself to him. No, you don't. No, you You're don't. lying. You're lying, sack of poop. That's not a lie. <laughs> it is. I've followed William Montgomery. Yeah, what color hair does he got? He in the movie. Uh, yeah, what color hair does Blue he... Lagoon. He was sporting a brown. <laughs> a, a very brown look in Blue Lagoon. Sure. Contrary to the movie's title. And that that was his first. Uh, that was his not a starring role. That was his first uh, appearance in film. If you look up on his IMDb, uh, with Blue Lagoon with uh, Goldie Hawn, and he doesn't know who he is. Uh, William Montgomery. He was the sixth president of the United States. <laughs> he looks like it. 
He sounds like it with his <laughs> fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He has one of those staunch yeah. fucking like boom, noble if you American. If came names. in and told me William Montgomery was the sixth president, I'd be like, no, that was John Adams. But yeah. was he the seventh or eighth? I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere on there. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Before our time, for sure. God damn. Um, uh, we were we were talking about something important, though. It was like... Uh, yeah. Penguins. It, penguins or uh, race, racial issues. Uh, in prison. Or something. No, no, we were uh, trying to tackle the semantics of whether you like macaroni grill or carabas better. And what what is macaroni? <laughs> in well, the first place. It's an actual if we want to dig noodle. into it. It's a bent noodle, Yankee an noodle, elbow noodle. noodle. Macaroni yeah. was was uh So the song Yankee Doodle is is about um it, it's an early slur. It's right. an early We gave it away. Now we can put other stuff on here. Oh, thank you, babe. That did like an ashtray in a cup. It did really work. So Yankee Doodle, the song, Macaroni, da 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 you know it. You learned it in school. Yankee Doodle, get it down, ride it on a pony. Put a feather in his hat and he called it Macaroni. Yeah. Um, so it was a gay slur. It was, uh, it was a fashion at the time called Macaroni. And it was, the song was making fun of gay people. Really? Yeah. The, uh, stick a feather in my hat and call me macaroni? No, yep. No, and called it macaroni because it was a, it was, macaroni was a fashion trend at the time. It was feminine. Yes. Yeah, for men. Right. And I so, see. Yankee Doodle was a dandy. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yeah. Do you know what a dandy is? Yeah, like a fairy. Right. So this was a... Stupid homo, right? <laughs> Some would... <laughs> would <laughs> so the, only some would say that. Yeah. In that way. Um, but yeah, it was... Uh, it was... Uh, oh, I, I want to... I, I love the fags. I wouldn't put it that way <laughs> because of the way that it is. But if you wanted to go, if you wanted to go with something less offensive, you could just keep your opinion to yourself. You know? I, uh, uh, love everyone. Um, that was a good segue. I like I like yeah. getting into that. We talk about how you love everyone. Yeah. Do you Everybody. love? Do you love the big show? Uh, no. I mean, God damn, we already blew your concept. One yeah. person in. Yeah, I know. What's yeah. your problem with him? He's too big. Oh, I love him as a person. I don't like the big show. I don't like, I don't love his uh, character. Oh, see, that's different. As long as you love him as a person. Yeah. That's what really counts. Do you love uh, Randy Quaid? Yeah. Dennis Quaid. Yep. Uh, Dennis Quaid was cool because that's who I know, like, Interstellar was really cool. Yeah, Dennis Quaid for sure wasn't in that movie. Interstellar um, Space. That's what it was. No. Inner space. Inner space. That's what it was. There you go. Okay. I can get on board with Dennis Quay being in that. I can't get on board with him being in Interstellar because that was Matthew McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey in a robot. Yeah, in a robot. Also Matt Damon secretly. Yep. It was a surprise. Surprise, surprise Matt Damon. Damon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boom. Jumped right out there with them apples. Yeah. They uh, like to do that nowadays. <sighs> yeah, it's become a big trend sneaking actors in. Yeah. And apples. It was uh, Brad Pitt 
in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, Brad Pitt in Suicide Squad. Who's the Invisible Man? Was it Brad Pitt? Yeah, I think so. He died and got electrocuted. Have you seen the new Suicide Squad? No, you don't have HBO Max. No. But you have to give somebody a free subscription to it now because you promised you would. You did. I speak. I spoke for you. <laughs> I can't give away any HBO Max. Uh, you could. Don't tell them you can't. You just don't want to. Yeah, I, I don't have the money for that. <laughs> you do have the money for it. You just don't want to. I. Yeah, that is true. Okay, so let's get to the bottom of the real issues here. <laughs> yeah. Rob's unwillingness to give. <laughs> <laughs> he's always been pretty selfish i i remember one time we were getting off the highway and we pulled up to one of them guys with a sign that was there and he ran him over with his car but i think people what? and the guy died and That's rob was fucked. like don't talk about why don't you call the yeah. cops well I no, did. What? and they said you want to tell them what the cops said yeah the cops said uh if you do this again, if you do this again, your mom's gonna know about it. Yep, and they would have told her. Yeah, but he only did it like two or three more times. You kind of gr- grown out of that. I'll give you. I'll give you your. And I, I believe what he said because it's true. It'd be on the news. Every time a homeless person gets run over on the highway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Front page. Front, front page, page nationwide. Yeah, your mom's gonna know about it. Yep. Did you hear that in Arizona guy, homeless guy, he was on the highway, got hit, hit by a car. It's amazing. The world's going to shit. Cars running over people. It's fucking madness. <laughs> I keep drinking. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> I keep forgetting this is uh. 133 proof 133.3 i keep forgetting i'm used to regular jack yeah i'm i've been slow slipping the one you gave me it reminds me of the time that we went to Lollapalooza and filled up uh water bottles What's wrong with me with uh 100 proof vodka yeah and then it was like 105 degrees in the sunshine and like had these big bottles of what looked like water and then every time it was vodka. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, no. Yeah. He kept thinking, oh, maybe this is going to quench my thirst. Nope. 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 It's, it's vodka. It made vodka. for an interesting day. <sighs> Fucking vodka, man. All right. Have you ever had birthday cake vodka? I don't I think heard, so. I saw it on don't. the shelf. I've, I've, I've personally tasted it, and it pff, tastes like throwing up. Uh, All right, we got to start the we- memes. Here we well, go. I mean, it tastes like birthday cake melted in box. <laughs> Who the fuck? I don't even understand why. He... It's not even your birthday. All right. What's on your mind? Well, what's on my mind is this. Deep dig on these memes. Yeah. Can't just let them fly by. No. People tune in for the in depth analysis. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Number 10. <laughs> Remember when you said you don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind? Yeah. It's God fun. damn. <laughs> What's funny is that in prison you get raped. Yeah, that's what makes it funny. And you that get raped in prison. <laughs> if you are a raper, you should get. Raped. Yeah, you should get raped. Yeah, yeah he deserves it. It's not only true; it's eye funny. Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. Which you know, is how all the best legal systems worked yeah. in history. The Aztecs, the Minoans. Well, it always comes worse when it comes around. Live by the sword, die by the sword, right? I mean, I don't want neither. What? How cool is living by the sword? It's, it's not. It's sharp. 
metal. Yeah. It's you not. want that by you all the time? Do you want like to carry it. it around? I don't like it. What if you had to carry around a fucking 15-pound sword all the time? Yeah. And the only benefit is you might get stabbed by somebody else. Dude, his sword was black. And You're thick. less likely to get in a sword duel if you don't own a sword. His sword didn't have many sharp edges. It's just a lot of veins. Is that an R. Kelly joke? He raped kids, bro. Don't, don't. This is not a laughing matter. He, he has got. He raped children, and our our legal system is fucked, and we shouldn't be supporting the rape of men for for rape repercussions. Well, I uh, don't agree with what R. Kelly did, and don't condone it. And uh, this. Big brother. His name is Tyrone. You don't know how big or small that person is. This is clearly photoshopped. That could be a very tiny man. Well, it's portraying a bigger guy. He might not even be a prison man. That might just be a guy in a blue shirt. And now he's been miscategorized (laughs) and miscast (laughs) as some type of rapist. R. Kelly is a rapist. This other guy doesn't deserve... To be, he doesn't to be besmirched yeah, in this he way. Can, he he's preaching the gospel to somebody. What if he does? He doesn't agree with any. He doesn't yeah. rape. He doesn't prison. He doesn't rape in prison. Yeah, that's a or outside of it. That's definitely a prison fucking. Thing. How can you tell by the way that it has words on it? What if the rest of that says fucking rock aware? Uh, I'm just stereotyping him. What if that isn't a Y at the end? I'm what, just saying it's a black guy. With probably like prison scrubs, you know, you know how because that's the how your <laughs> world view is is skewed. Just cut. It's a black black guy wearing a shirt must be in prison because they don't wear shirts if they're not in jail. Uh, no, usually they go shirtless. J.R. Smith and they you they're know not allowed to. They're supposed to be wearing their uniform. only at certain beaches, but either way, number nine. R. Kelly deserves any anything he gets. All right, number nine. Our father, who are our... <laughs> give it a boo. boo. I don't like it. Are you saying you wouldn't? I'm saying I w- I would if I had to. <laughs> to get to heaven but, but not hell yeah but not because of your own love but if if it was the ultimatum if it was for the own love absolutely i feel like that's a trick and they're gonna be like look at that dude in hell who sucked a dick yeah i would see i don't think i'd be given that ultimatum but but now that it's on the table maybe that's the I'm just saying I would cruel twist of fate. I would. You know what I wouldn't do? Kill somebody in uh Hey, you know, giving giving and, Jesus a beach versus killing somebody is and, and, totally different things. And yeah. And you know what? There's people that have killed. I'll I a hundred percent agree. Like so, I don't think I I'll science smoke, bears I'll, it out. I will suck JC dick. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard for me to <laughs> I say would. it. Rather than murder someone. Yes. Imagine if he was like, murder your first child. <laughs> Taking the dick. Taking the dick. Common, uh, Jesus Christ was was the inspiration for Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> if you didn't, if you didn't know, yeah. Because uh, he would, Jesus was always like, he was like kidnapping people's kids and like spinning straw into gold. Right? Was that him? Was it? I don't know. It's they are all these all these, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they all history. It gets mixed up. I. All right. Oh, let's see them all at the same time. <laughs> let's do a quick mashup. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number three, or number eight, I should say, other way around, Jeffrey. <laughs> Boomer shit. Boomer shit. <laughs> but it got a lot of likes, so I had to include it. Super Boomer. Uh, yeah. Damn. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. 
nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All the way around, Jeffrey. Oh my God. All right, I'm turning um, it. No, you can't. All right, you want to? Right, let's right, talk let's about talk it. About it. All right. There. No, what? It's what? It's the, where the money is we, magic. All right, for the listeners. Uh, so, we have, uh, massage tables with the circle cut out for the head. Right. The father puts his dick in the head circle. Now, and she's like, <laughs> other way, honey. The there only thing I can appreciate about this is that they made effort to put his knees up. So that like his dick actually is in where the face yeah. hole would be. They and didn't look bigger corners and like just have us move the hole over to where the dick for the ant. They angled his legs up like, oh, yeah. he really is on it backwards. Yeah. This is a couple's massage or it's a couple massage because you can't see the E or really that <laughs> it's a couple <laughs> massage. So they're a couple massage. Candles are burning, like eight, eight or nine of them. But a drawn picture, there's no way you have to assume everything that they're giving to you for the joke. So here's the joke. It's a comic. It's actually not even a meme. It's a comic. Right. Yeah. It. Um, it's all it is. Yep. Straight out of Playboy. Could have been. Could have been. Could have been, yeah. Could have been. I think this is a little not risque enough. Play. I mean, there's cosmopolitan, a maybe a um, play girl, yeah. Free subscription to play girl for the third caller. <laughs> uh, I don't have any of that. He'll he's you lying. Can get the, you can get Rob has he is lying to you. He has laminated the 1997 Heartbreak Kid. I gotta do Sean <laughs> Michaels edition of Playgirl magazine. I got an autograph. I have a WWF yeah. Sable play. Playboy. You can get the combo pair, a Sable Playboy <laughs> and an HBK Heartbreak Kid Sean Michaels Play Girl if you're and the third Steel, caller. And Peter Steele from Play Girl. And Peter Steele at, has autographed them both. <laughs> if anybody knows who that is. <laughs> is everybody he related knows. To everybody Ma knows. Is he related to Max Hardcore or Lexington? No. Lead singer of neg typo negative. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about male porn stars with huge. He giant he, he cocks. donged out in the he magazine. He does have a huge penis. Yes. I mean, if you if you got a huge one, you should put it in a magazine. Might as well. That's well. Share share with the world. All right, number seven. Before you die. <laughs> He's dead. Door Dick 22, Door Dick Delivery Man at Door Dick. <laughs> Boyfriend not buying you food or bringing you dick. Introducing door dick. I show up. <laughs> I show up at your door in 30 minutes or less with food and dick. Oh my god. And if your boyfriend shows up, you get a free upgrade to Dick Dash. A end. That's it. <laughs> okay. One year so, ago. I feel like one less one sentence. Ago. I feel like all it needed was boyfriend not buying you food or bringing you dick, introducing door dick. I'll show up at your door in 30 minutes or less with food and, and dick. dick. <laughs> yeah. What is this other fucking sentence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who wrote this? What kind of fucking comedy madman? It might be real. Oh. oh. 43 minutes away. Is it only, do you have to have a boyfriend? How do they verify if you have a boyfriend or not? Dude, all I got to say is if it's this bad and dumb, it might be real. Mm, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Fuck that last sentence. If your boyfriend And if your boyfriend shows up, you get a free upgrade to Dick Dash. Like, fumble, fumble, fumble. Uh, no, they were trying fumble to do a joke. They were trying fumble to do a joke. Fumble Ruski. You remember Little Giants? They were trying to do a joke. They did a joke, and then they fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> they fucked it up. Do you remember the Little Giants? A little bit. With uh, with uh, Ghost uh, Rick Moranis and uh, oh, they want to they, they want to do DoorDash. You, <sighs> yeah. I get that it's fucked. it's Door it's DoorDash for dicks. <laughs> no, you're right. The last 
sentence it, yeah, completely. The last sentence it makes gay. it cringy. 43 miles away? It makes it cringe, too. It's like kind of... Nobody is delivering you food or dick from 43 miles away. <laughs> this is more for Norm MacDonald. If Norm MacDonald said this, it'd be funny. Norm MacDonald would have ended it at that exclamation point with <laughs> dick. And he'd have moved on to the next goddamn thing. Yeah, you're right. I'm just saying he is a guy of those long, drawn-out jokes. But then there's a punchline. And if your bro boyfriend shows up, you get a free upgrade to Dick Dash, and he tossed the card. It doesn't make sense. That's when he tossed the card. That's a toss the card comment. It's not even a joke. It's a toss the card. Like a, no, like, I would be. And then shows uh, up with uh, food and Dick. Ha! And you get Dish Deck. Throw it. No, uh, Dick. Ha ha. Uh, and everybody laughs. And if your boyfriend shows up, you get an upgrade to Dick Dash. And then the next one. And everybody's like, like boo. It's like a boo, comma. Boo, you ruined it. Boo. Boo. And then it, the boos cascade and start resonating with the the steel in the building. And then that's how Norm MacDonald died. And that's what causes cancer. By the steel beam. Yeah. Because he, he died of cancer. Thank it was Thank cancer. God he died before he had to see this fucking joke. You're right. All right. God next rest. One. Dude, I miss Dorm McDonald already. Dorm Dorm McDonald. Dorm Number Mc... Number eight. Number six. Anal sex is six. like spinach. If you were forced to have it as a child, you won't like it as an adult. Bye. Oh, uh, that's true. All right. So I saw wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Come on now. I mean, it is. Come like, you now. ain't gonna. <laughs> well, I'm taking it as you're traumatized. I still like spinach. Me too. <laughs> so we got and I all, And I was forced to eat it as a child. I haven't had any anal sex recently, but <laughs> maybe I like that too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Does the He-Man scooter make it funnier? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. What is that from? What? Bye. Um, Why do I hear people do that all the all fucking time? It's a common saying when you're leaving. That's why people say bye is because they're leaving. But why do they go bye? Because it's fun. Ugh. <laughs> what is it from? I don't know. Malibu's I'm, most wanted. It's a lot of shit, but I hear it mostly from cart narcs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm one of those... I'm one of those. Marks might be one of the <laughs> most divisive things on the internet. I love it. If you read a comment about a cart <sighs> comment chain about a cart narcs video, half of them are like, "Fuck it, crucify these cart pushing oh, fucking yeah. bastards," oh, yeah. and then half of them are like, "No, fuck that cart narc. He needs to get a <laughs> life and stop harassing people. He's yeah. the one that should be crucified." It. I swear yeah, to God, it's it the is. most divisive thing really? in it the is. fucking world. Yeah. That's like crazy. it's more divisive than like, is that dress blue or to, yellow or whatever. Come wow. to the east side of Chicago. And that's see crazy. You do yeah, that. see, yeah. Like. yeah, that's the fucking comment. <laughs> Dude, you want fucking cart narc in my neighborhood? <laughs> to me, I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, to me, it's like be a civilized fucking human being and put your cart away, you stupid fucking weirdo. It's a weird thing. To Rob, me, it's like primitive. And weird you think shit. you you would think that's that you'd think, oh, I'm that's totally the right opinion. You're fifty percent wrong according to everybody in the world. Yeah. Half the world says There's somebody else no. that's supposed to do yeah. that. Fuck you. There's somebody else that's supposed to do that. That's what they get paid to do. So so fuck that. I'm not putting my cart back. And fuck cart narcs for making me feel bad. <laughs> Ugh. 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 Dude, I hate it. But Sorry. The, but there's all these people out there that are like, ugh. Yeah. 
I fucking hate that that guy would put his cart back. No, that attitude. <laughs> God, oh, I yeah. understand that it exists, True. and I'm totally acceptable of it, but ugh, don't do that. Put your fucking cart away. It's that uh, that old, uh, yeah. What do you Get got? your quarterback from Aldi. <laughs> Yeah. To all you, you know, they're the worst people. Bottom Dude. of the bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel. To all you racist, pedophile, serial killing, necrophiliac cannibals. At least you put us, your carts away. Do us a favor and put your carts away. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking weirdo. You that is a considerate fuck. It really is. It's kind of like so. To me, like, so common. Even when I was a kid, I was like, oh, this can't be right if we oh, leave it feels here. dirty, are Yeah. Is Jesus going to see this? I would. Fe- I feel like I'm breaking the law. Well, you didn't feel as guilty masturbating. I didn't. <laughs> no, masturbating, I never felt guilty. Well, never. You should have. Jesus saw every, every single time. Every single time. <laughs> it's like you were coming on his face when you were... <laughs> Dude... <laughs> You have no idea. Them. My, you might as well come right in his eye, <laughs> Rob. The thoughts that I've th- thought that I've thought, the <laughs> thoughts that I've thought. Oh yeah, thought thats. Past yeah. tense, it works. The thoughts that I've thought. <laughs> uh, the were, thoughts that I've thought. Were um, I've had those thoughts. <laughs> That's... Where it's like, ah, oh, well, this is what you get. <laughs> you created me. <laughs> Welcome. You did this to yourself. <laughs> you did it. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Woo! No, uh, I, uh, and then, and then only, regret. Oh, but then again, I also and then have deep, deep. I also shame. have thoughts of like maybe Brian peeking and going, "What are you doing, dude?" <laughs> I just died. Jesus, I'm thinking about Jesus. Like right when I come, I see, I'll see Maggie going, "Ew, gross!" <laughs> and then the shame. Yeah, the shame. And the finger pointing. Yeah, the... Ooh. Uh, ooh. Shame, you're shame. D- you're dirty, Rob. <laughs> it's so dirty. Oh, gross. Everybody knows. Oh. Everybody saw that. And you're licking your hand? Gross. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stop licking it. <laughs> Don't save some in a jar for later. Oh, Rob. He's jerking it right now. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, don't don't dry it out and, and put it in a salt shaker Salty. and and use it like Parmesan on your pizza <laughs> crust. Oh, Rob. Oh, what's wrong That's with you? That's fucking gross. <laughs> Keep taking Bye. way too big of drinks. Bye. Like that. Bye. <laughs> Fuck that part of this. All right. <laughs> All right, number five. All right. All right, Chris Eric. So I saw this today. I honked. All right, this is Vermilion. Honk if you love milk. Right before the bridge is going to shut down in a couple weeks. All right. It's not The funny. bridge is going to shut down. How do you get across the river? You got to go around. Bought a f- you have to Oregon style, go Oregon on... trail style, choose to. It's yeah, funny. You got to get, or... get on your boat. It's funny for us Vermilion people because we know what this is. If you don't got a boat, you can't go across town. I, I'm out of the loop and I hate it. Or Well, I kind of love it. I've come around on it recently. On Vermilion? No, on this uh, meat. <laughs> <Me? laughs> yeah. Did you talk to I like how it's it? a Suzuki and I like how that there's a truck in front of it. Uh, like, you, gotta get, you gotta look for it. I do, I like, yeah, mainly that it's a Suzuki and that there's also oncoming traffic. <laughs> oh, it's a That's whole thing. And the orange barrels. Like. Oh, oh, there's f- four, three of them. Four. Those are pretty cool. All right, number four. <laughs> are you packing a sweatshirt? Do you think we will need one? I'm bringing two. My camel toe was so... This is what you got. You have to read this. You have to read this. this is... I'm just going to read I'll, I'll read the green parts and you can read the white right. parts. Hey. Are you packing a sweatshirt? Do you think we're going to need one? I'm bringing two. 
my camel toe is huge, so I'm just came, <laughs> just cramming as much as I can. Parenthesis hyphen, parenthesis underscore, parenthesis hyphen, parenthesis zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> Shocking face, maybe. All right. My camel tote. Camo. My camo. This whole thing. <laughs> for, for, for audio, this sucks you so bad. You fucked up. You <laughs> fucked up. This so you sucks for audio. <laughs> oh, my God. My camo tote. Oh, my God. Ha, 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 ha. That is the last straw with autocorrect. The straw? May, per, may I... I want to throw it out there. Was it the straw that broke the camel toe's back? Yeah. Ah. Man, you need to get better at these meme selections. (laughs) All right. These are uh, from 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 damn you autocorrect dot com. That is old school. All right, number three that we have apparently a bunch of boomers in the group. Number three, fuck. <laughs> this All right, here me. we go. You guys will like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Romance is dead. Is Romance it? ain't dead. You gotta be. You gotta have seen <laughs> some shit. This is horrible. Is this one man one jar? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. To understand this one. You have to have been to some dark places in your life. Have you ever have you yeah. ever been somewhere where you didn't feel comfortable? All the time. All the time. I that's Dude, Holland, I I'm done, dude. I'm so numb. You're gonna have to help me. What the fuck happened to me? What's the song about being uh I believe there might be a like a three eleven song or something that can help you out. <laughs> No, Natural maybe it's Lincoln disaster? Park. Maybe there's a Lincoln Park song. I hope you have. No, no, it was uh, no, yeah, blue, blue. The way I feel, like I am numb. What's What's the worst thing you've ever seen on the internet? All right, here we go. Uh, top that, that, Top number one to me. Top one number one worst was thing. like to hit my soul. Just like how dirty humans can be. Beheading. Um was a picture of a rotting corpse of a woman in the, like, the Middle East or something. And uh, she had been used and there was... to where there was a hole in the ground where her crotch was. That's pretty dark. Yeah, that's pretty dark. Photoshop. That was actually Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. No, I'm being serious. I I do believe this this might be a semi-famous photo because I've been I've been I've been been down the internet. I'm gonna say that's pretty dark. Not the darkest thing I've seen. I'm going to give a runner-up darkest thing I've seen was the... Have you seen the Netflix documentary, Don't Fuck With Cats? Yes. Yeah. I saw that guy's video like 15 years ago when it was just floating around like... Yeah, I think... It was just floating around like rotten or whatever. Yeah. And it was... They obviously don't show it in that Netflix documentary. Yeah. But Horrible. that video was out there for a while. That's, that's nothing. That's cats. But you know, that's yeah, that. It was a horrible. little bit of. Yeah. There was a lot of factors that made it kind of discuss. It was it 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 was to be clear. It wasn't the cats part. It was the having sex with the corpse, letting the dog eat the corpse. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Thing. It, worst top number one worst thing I think I've ever seen is squishing videos. Do you know what squishing videos are? Let's hear it. What is it? Oh, no. I haven't. Women in high heels oh. get a whole bunch of puppies and kittens and smash them oh, yeah. with oh. their high heels. I've heard about that. Yeah. No. 
Yeah, and, I've heard about that. And then it gets weirder. But from I've never there. seen it. You know what I mean? Oh. I'm talk I'm talking about the thing that hit my soul. Listen, I've seen shit. I've seen a woman get beheaded. Don't give me Everybody's seen, seen Everybody's some heads seen cut that. off yeah, here yeah. and there. It's normal. What is this, Nickelodeon? It's yeah. This is Nick Jr. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. Is blues clues. Yeah. His face. Talk about dark shit that like made me made me feel weird, right? Man. It was that picture. It was only a picture. And it was uh, a woman being used way long after death <laughs> by many people. Ugh. Or one very enthusiastic. Or one very enthusiastic person. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to say deepest, darkest I saw was squishing. This wh particular video is possibly oh, yeah. one of the craziest things I've ever seen. But... All in all, not that yeah, high top, on the dark scale. The top one. It's on the dark scale. But it's more crazy than the jar, it is. The jar really breaks. Disturbing. Yeah. Well, it's when he starts fishing out and, like, you can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, and then the whole video is him. And then the follow-up with the screwdriver. Yep. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I showed my parents two girls in a cup. <laughs> One at a time. I was like, Mom, you gotta watch this. Dad, you gotta watch this. I feel like that's doing them a service. They need, like, yeah, to be girls, to two girls, one cup is like regular laughter humor. Yeah. <laughs> poop. 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 Yeah. Poop. poop is fun, right? Not this. <laughs> um, all right. All right. But yeah, this is only, this is only funny to some people. This isn't. This isn't f bring the family around the campfire. Yeah, it it's romantic. And throw up a projector. It's, yeah, it's romantic. Well, yeah, that, I mean, that's why it's hilarious. But you don't get romantic with your family around the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> this True. <is> <laughs> All right. But this is just an example of what you can do when watching it. All right. Number two. I don't, I don't think this has ever happened. <laughs> what? Number <laughs> number two, uh, uh, number two, man. When ads start popping up for stuff I've only thought about inside my head. Da da da. Rob, fuck. Reading good. It wasn't that funny to begin with, and you thoroughly ruined it. It was only medium when funny ads at best. Start pop, start pooping. Up you just have you read everything. <laughs> when, when ads start popping up for stuff I've only thought about inside my head, there wasn't a period anywhere in there. You shouldn't have added your own. It wasn't a comma, nothing. It's the English language. Okay, all gonna, I gotta say is, are you ever gonna be that comedian with a scroll that you? I gotta say to is be? kudos to the person that photoshopped <laughs> revolvers, Michelle. And really, I could do without everything but the picture. The picture would have just been. Yeah, great. the picture's great. <laughs> <laughs> Gangster. Maybe the Spider Man, you know the Spider Man with Spider Man pointing at Spider Man. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know the Spider, yeah. It could have been Michelle pointing at Michelle. <laughs> with <a gun. laughs> oh, There's two man. of them, Rob. There's two of them. Yeah. All right, child labor laws. All right, fuck. Number. Such a clever way around exploiting number, children. This is number one. We're twins? going back. We're going back to the. Oh shit! Take it back around. Number one. Take it around town. Number one. We don't want to hear that one. I said sing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to hear that one. I said sing the remix to ignition, fool. Eye for an eye. What these bitches want from a nigga? Yeah. Uh. Go ahead and add on the last bit there, Rob. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Fitting to be about. Fitting to be a lot of toot-toot and beep-beeps. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what made it funny. 
running your head through my froze. This is not as funny <laughs> as the first one. <coughs> the, uh, and again, it, it's got that problem where <laughs> fuck that second bit of it that's much, much less funny. That kind of ruins it all. Oh, yeah. I do like that. Nobody wants to hear the original ignition because it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's it. That's the last one. That's the last one. <laughs> it's like that's such a weak applause thing. Yeah. Like that sounds like they just refreshed the potatoes at the fucking buffet or something. And, oh. They they reheated it up in the toaster. They oven. just brought out another pepperoni pizza at the Golden Corral. Oh ha! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's stupid. <laughs> is what that laugh is like. Yeah, it's what it, it's like those late night television comments. Oh, uh... hey man, this is number one. Is this the number one meme? Ah, uh, yeah, this is number one. You, this is the number one, guys. Yeah. Best segment ever. Put a lot of effort into it. Made sure that it was only funny. Me. Didn't put no duds in there so it stopped being funny. Only high quality memes. So, do you feel like they should that Bluetooth earpieces never really caught on? Bluetooth? Did you ever Bluetooth an earpiece for your cell phone because you were busy with like business calls? No. And walking. Never. I I never liked the people that had the Bluetooth phone calls. I don't care for people that just have casual phone calls in front of everybody. No, that's disrespectful. I don't need to be a part of your fucking... Well... We're at the grocery store, lady. Yeah. Uh, Find your saying, pineapples and like, get out of here. Li- or in the bathroom. Uh, like I'm trying to poop. No, you're going to walk... You're going to be in the urinal next to me and talk to what? somebody. Of course. It it's what on it is phone. is they're they're direct they're they might as well be spitting on your face. Not necessarily spitting right on, not just your face, but through your face onto your integrity. No, onto the little bit of integrity that's in the back of your heart. Oh no, they spit right through your face onto your heart integrity. Yeah, I would say so. Um, they. Yes, yes, they have. Uh, I feel like you know they disrespected me, and you know what? They have to pay the price. Yeah, you know what the price is? Uh, the price is me going, Psh. <laughs> and they have to suffer through and they have that. To suffer for th- through that shit. Got yeah, uh, it's the price to pay. Psh. Psh. Uh, uh, no, it's uh. It's when I'm on the urinal and they're like, "Yo, yeah, yo, what's up?" And then I don't know if I'm talking. They're talking to me or not, you know. And then I go, "Oh, it's not." And then I go back to my friends, and I go, "Dude, this fucking douchebag!" Can you believe? Can you believe the nerve of this guy? That's what he has to suffer. Slings and arrows. Yeah. Hey, um, real quick. Can we take uh, what some people would call, like, um, did you ever, did you see Titanic when it was in the movie theater? Um, no. Yes. 
I did. She did. Dude, I I took like two or three different girlfriends to that movie because wow. it, it was on. It stayed in the movie theater for like a, two and a half years. I was in, like, I was in seventh grade, so that in fifth grade you just took chicks to the movie theaters. Yeah, <laughs> that's the most gangster shit ever, dude. <laughs> Come of on. course you're in fifth so, grade. Um, you have your shit together. Everything's <laughs> fine. And then you just swing yep. your dick around. Yep, you got the and, perfect head of hair, fifth grade hair. Yeah. Just, and, uh, but in the middle, like, if you went and saw Titanic at the movie theater because it was like two and a half hours long, yeah. like somewhere right around when they banged in the car, it cut to intermission. And like it was like 15 minutes where you could go out and get some popcorn from the lobby, maybe like clean yeah. the jizz up off your pants from the HJ. Yeah. Um, Hand what job. I'm getting at is, can we take a brief intermission? Yeah. Intermission. Cut to commercial. All right. Cut to commercial. We'll be back right after these messages. You know, when you got it right, you got it right. Whether you're talking about this. Or whether you're talking about the one and only diet cola that does it for Ray. Diet Pepsi. You know, nothing tastes as good to me as Diet Pepsi. Hmm. All right, now, who's the wise guy? <laughs> Join the Diet Pepsi taste drive. Now, that's the right one, baby. <laughs> good news for people that have credit problems. Norton Furniture is here for you. Now, seriously. If you can't get credit in my store, you can't get credit anywhere. My name is Mark, and you can count on it. You gotta help me out with something. Ah. Uh, we're back. Was that the back music? Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to Joey Muska, owner and operator of the Pizza Galley in Vermilion. He just got himself a new, uh, what do you call it, a toaster oven. It's Americana. We, we've done a lot of, that's what he won, a, to, a toaster oven. Petey Pop. Yeah. Um. Uh, have you had the new Nelly meal from uh, Burger King? We don't have a Burger King. Nuh-uh. There's so, a Nelly meal now? So, check it. They, you know, they, you know oh how these God. fast food places be collaborating with so rappers? So, Weedy yes. and Travis Scott, yeah. It's <clears throat> the meal is called, like, the Cornell Wallace Jr. meal. Because that's his real name. I don't know if it's Wall. I'm pretty sure his first name's Cornell. Because that's how he got Nelly. Mm. So it's the Cornell possibly Wallace Jr. meal. <laughs> God. Just call it Nelly. And it's named that because he the slogan is he wants to keep it original. The meal is a Whopper and fries. That's it. Original Whopper. That's it? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Number one. Keeping it original. Just one of number one. Nope. Number one is now the Cornwallis, Cor- Cornell, Cornwallis, Cornell Wallace Jr. meal. Lame. Burger King's lame. <laughs> I get. I kind of miss it because it, it's gone now. We don't have one. Yeah, we don't have one. Maybe drive out to Lorraine or something and no. remind yourself why you don't need no, it. No, it's bad. No. Yeah. It is bad. <laughs> It is bad. They don't do any. Ugh. Yeah, it is bad. Um, Speaking of fast food, they uh, Wendy's changed their fries. What? They did. They did. They're breaded now. Breaded? Yeah, there's some kind of breading. I like it. I like it. Breading better. on their fries. Yeah, like they dipped them in flour. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Wendy's fries always did kind of suck, though. <laughs> they, did. they did. I mean, not a fresh cut fry can be really good. 
But, but not suck. when it's super soggy old Wendy's. Yeah, fucking nah, Wendy's fresh. Yeah, yeah. it's soggy every time. Yep. But these are crispy and good. I like them. Crispy, fries, bacon, pepperonis. I won't. I almost never send food back. It doesn't matter if there's like globs of paint on it or something. I'll eat around it and pay my bill and leave. <laughs> I one time at midnight at McDonald's in Elyria got some fries that I swear to God, like they hadn't even they had like scooped them out of the grease with a spoon or and like. They were, it was like fries and grease soup. And I, and I drove, and I drove back around and I was like, these are fucked. (laughs) (laughs) They, I never, uh, and they were like, yeah, they are. They gave me some new ones. It's not a very, never, I never never fucking turned food back. I've never heard of that ever. That sort of thing. That's crazy. I remember when Burger King changed their fries. I do too. They became like crispier. And bubbly on the outside. <coughs> I remember when they changed their chicken nuggets. They used to have the tenders. Yeah. Like the long finger guys. Yeah. Did you ever have a Burger King taco? No. I did. Burger King taco was the bullshittest worst thing in the world. So they were two for a dollar. And there's a reason they were two for a dollar. Because they were a Whopper patty cut in half and stuck into a fucking hard shell taco oh, yeah. with a slice of American cheese. Yeah. It was the most That's horrible. fucked up taco. That's not even a taco. No, it was half a Whopper Fuck. on a taco shell. <laughs> wow. And they quickly, everybody was like, oh, this is fucking. Mm-hmm. That didn't take long. Once in a while. I could go for a Burger King hash brown because they're the little circle boys that. Yeah. Those are, but those I are, still don't know that I'd take it any time over a McDonald's hash brown. No. McDonald's breakfast wins. Man, the McDonald's out by me has sausage, biscuits, and gravy. Really? Yeah. Only the one. The other like three don't. But they got, and it's pretty good. It's right. like, it's halfway, I mean, you can't really, it's fucking sausage and gravy. You can't fuck right. that up too right. bad. Sorry, guys. What? I gotta end this right now. So you can eat more on mic? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you can't eat on mic if you end it. Yeah, True. I can't eat on many if I, uh All right, before we end, if if you get a, a, a bagel from McDonald's, do you get the sausage bagel, the bacon bagel, or the steak one? Steak if they had it. Steak. Because sometimes they don't. They're like, oh, we're all out of steak today. I would get steak for sure. Yeah, steak. Or, and then backup's bacon. I do like their sausage on other I sandwiches. Like, I like sausage. But in particular, the bagel with the bacon, I don't know it's good because they got that fake hollandaise on there. Oh, the yeah. bacon, I usually don't go with bacon because uh, I it's beef jerky, essentially, at a restaurant. Oh, I mean, that. yeah. I, man, the bacon gamble on the yeah you're anti-government but if if you ever want (laughs) i feel like the government should really fucking feels good when you say it (laughs) (laughs) i I think you can agree that the the government needs to get much more involved with how done or not bacon is at fast food places (laughs) because it is a fucking crap shoot And sometimes I am hey, pissed off that I paid an extra localized. two dollars yeah. for right? this bacon on I'm this. I'm all down for localized government, baby. <laughs> <laughs> did you local, see? Did I'm you a see? communist. No, that no, Rob, I think this is going to take a nationwide effort to <laughs> yeah. to curb this bacon yeah, the fucking shenanigans. Did you see the girl go to um a uh, a town meeting of some sort or whatever about the McRib? <laughs> Cl- uh, close it out with that video. The the girl that what? Get, goes to like her <laughs> town meeting. Was about it because the it McRib. was back or wasn't back? Was yet? uh town wasn't back? I think. McRib. Yep, the pink hair girl. Oh, there we go. Hey, Miss. 
I'm not sure. Could you say your name for us, please? Uh, Xanthi Pajarillo. Thank you. Um, no, no. Um, she looks real hi, serious everyone. about uh, it. First, I want to thank um, you know, Madam Mayor and the council members for your time. Um, I prepared a little statement. Um, I'm here on behalf of the Santa Clarita uh, foodie community. And um, uh, for, I was wondering, is there a Spanish translator available by any chance? A Spanish translator? Just to translator? not exclude the Hispanic community? <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh man! Um, no, Cover the bases. We try to do that in advance. Okay. Um, so I'll just get into it. In um, in 1982, um, a boneless uh, barbecue yeah, pork sandwich you was introduced that. to the United States, and it was available for only a limited time during the fall, which is uh, called the McRib. But um, this year, McDonald's. Mm, they decided to give regional managers the power to decide whether to sell the McRib at their locations. And apparently only 55% of McDonald's franchises nationwide have chosen to sell the McRib, which means 45% have on her decided side to now. skip it, including I wasn't Santa Clarita at the beginning, area. but now I and am. Let's there see are, where it um, goes. There are 10 McDonald's here in Santa Clarita, and none of them are selling the McRib. And um, specifically, the McDonald's on Shakela Lane next to In-N-Out is not selling it, and it's been replaced by an all-day breakfast, which I think is like a really poor substitute. And consumers have had to resort to the <laughs> McRibLocator.com, which like, gives disappointing results if you use it because the nearest um, sandwich was seen in the Bay Area. And to be honest, like the m removal of the McRib from the menu has affected my family because every Thanksgiving, my family would like order a 50 piece a chicken McNugget and like 10 McRibs. It was like, like a tradition in our family. And now it's like, <laughs> well, uh, f like my family's holiday spirits kind of messed up and broken. So <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say is like, I come to you in this matter that I hope you uh, members of the council can help and speak to these um, McDonald's managers because I tried calling the hotline and they like don't take me seriously. So I don't know, to me like <laughs> Thanksgiving for my family without this like McRib is like a Christmas like without snow. Yeah, this it is just sad. doesn't make sense. The only reason why is because so, everybody, um, honestly, I actually look at this as more noble than most things that I see. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm all, I'm fuck it. I'm, I, I'm on this lady's I'm, side I'm from a comedy standpoint. For, fuck I'm yeah. also on her side from what? a for real, this is what the government <laughs> yeah. should be involved in is so, availability yeah. of micro. I, I, I appreciate that more than somebody being like you know, we need to uh, really raise property taxes because we need to, we need more of this. Right. McRib. If, if they came out and weren't, I don't even like Happy McRibs, to be honest, but if, it's if. It's almost done. It's almost done. Oh, I thought they were going to say, damn it, I thought there was an end of them oh, saying thank no. you. And then she got famous off of it. Well, they can't say no. They just say we'll we'll look into it. Like the we'll do that. Thank you for your thing, especially. If no, they don't say we'll look into that. Oh no! no. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do like some kind of like a platitude of sorts, but not one that condones that we are taking yeah. seriously. <laughs> we'll look into it for sure. I'll stop through McDonald's this afternoon. Man. Hey, but the sausage biscuits and gravy at some McDonald's. Whew. Did they do away with all day breakfast? They should keep that. They do have that. Yeah, it still goes on. Yeah, past couple years. I Man, their sausage burritos suck, but I would get them all the time. I love their burritos. All right, guys. I, but we couldn't gotta go. they be better? They're not bad. I buy them. But, like, right. if they were just a little bit more love in that sausage burrito. <laughs> right. I put my hash brown inside the sausage burrito. Do you get the hot sauce? Yeah, hell yeah, I get the hot sauce. And I I take half a hash brown. <laughs> Dude, this and is I put a, that bitch this in the sausage for burrito. This podcast is laugh at me. And then put the hot sauce on it. And uh, know that I just, like, fuck me.
this entire episode. And congratulations yep. to Holland Hoff. Yep. He fucking Big toaster winner. On the show. <laughs> and uh, I, my phone doesn't work. It won't let me fucking. Apply. Oh, what next, Rob? Let's do Holland and Maggie. What? All right. Peace out, guys. We love ya. Thank you, Patreon. Steve Alung, Sinatra, Dina Lindo. Thank you, guys. We love ya. Peace. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Are we starting over now? <laughs>